prosperity. So first you have to accept the prosperity of an emotion. In other words, prosperity, there's a, there's a richness in alignment, tapping into the power and the energy that creates worlds. That is abundance. That's abundance. Abundance, prosperity, it's a vibrational thing. So now let's take this a little further. So the economy, whatever it is, no one understands it <laughs> who is physically focused. In other words, the, but, but this is a common misunderstanding about it. The economists are splitting up the pie of current reality. In other words, they don't count it until it's manifested. They don't count it until the gold has been dug up. They don't count it until Google has sold the shares. They don't, they don't count it until there is manifestational evidence of it, right? So there's this pie that, by the way, has been expanding, have you noticed? How, how recently were on this continent you trading beads and feathers and furs and, and stuff? In other words, there was, there was no uh, real commerce to speak of just a short time ago. And look how this manifested pie has expanded. So the economists are only counting the pie that has manifested. So they say, and, and you do too, well, here's the pie. Hard to get my thoughts around this pie because it's big. N nobody knows how big. I keep hearing different things. I mostly hear about the deficit pie. <laughs> but apparently there's a pie. And that guy over there, he got a really big piece of the pie. He's a greedy, greedy, greedy person. <laughs> and those people over there, they're hardly getting any of the pie. They're poverty and victims. But the pie, the pie, um, the pie isn't very, being very well split up. And, and there are those of us who believe that the pie should be equally split up. And there are those of us who believe that, that the free market should control where the pie pieces are. But in any case, it's a limited pie, which makes me as the participant in the pie nervous about it nervous about it and worried about it and competitive about it and, and angry about it, worried about it um, and out of the vortex about it. And we say, your problem is you're not talking about the real pie. The, the real pie is that energy pie, it's that vortex pie, it's that what is in the process of becoming pie, it's where that pie came from. In other words, th there's this, th there's this, and so if you can find a way of shaking loose of the reality and start staking your claim inside the vortex where the true energy and power and clarity and resilience is, then what is in your bank account is as irrelevant as that big old pie. Because that's old news. That's old news. This is where it's at, you see. So your optimism is about the, the pie you're moving to, not the pie that has been created and divvied up and squawked over by so many. So many people who are fixated on that pie are staking no claim whatsoever in this pie. But you know who's staking claim in this pie? We'll tell you, the guys that have got the biggest share of that pie. Because they've figured out how to play the game. They're not worried, they're not grab, groveling, they're not, they're not feeling like victims, they're not telling the recession story. They're telling the recession story. <laughs> In other words, they know there are always opportunities and that, and that opportunities appear in the, in the oddest of circumstances. In other words, their optimism stays up no matter what because they understand that it's about something other than that pie, that manifested pie, which is old news, which brings us to something that we like to say to all of you, especially lately, a lot. 
anything that's manifested is old news because this vortex is where who you really are is and all of the cooperative components that are aligned with who you really are. So all of this dialogue that we just spewed at you was toward one end and one end only. We want to jolt you, cajole you, sell you, encourage you, uh, tease you into being your own cooperative component with your own pie. And, and as you relax into that, as you, that, now we've answered our own question. How do I, how do I conjure a vibration apart from reality? We just showed you how. You put reality in its proper place. It's old news. And you put vibration in its proper place. It's where it's at. And then you decide what you're going to give your attention to. You're going to talk about what happened or what's happening, where you've been, where you're going, how you felt, how you feel. See what we're getting at? Yes. Really good. Absolutely. Thank you.